city where the music's always bright From history to theory will keep your spirits light Tune in for the stories, the rhythms and the groove Join us on this journey, there's always more to prove The melody, the melody, where every note's a thrill The melody, the melody, welcome to the Melody Podcast With your favorite host, James Shelton James Shelton Welcome to the Melody Podcast. I'm your host, James Shelton. Today we're talking about Maui Cyrus. 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 If I can get my words out, we're going to try. Born Destiny Hope Cyrus on November 23rd, 1992 in Franklin, Tennessee. Maui Cyrus is the daughter of the 1990s country star Billy Ray Cyrus. She changed her name to Miley Ray Cyrus in 2008, legally adopting the nickname she was given as a baby for often smiling. Smiling Ma- smiling Miley. Miley grew up on a family farm near Nashville, Tennessee with two sibling- siblings and three half-siblings. Her, gro- her godmother is country music icon Dolly Parton. Cyrus was pas- passionate about acting at a young age, appearing on her father's television series, Doc, and in Tim Burton's Big Fish in 2003. In 2004, Cyrus beat out a thousand hopefuls to land the starring role of Miley Stewart on the hit Disney show Hannah, Mo- Hannah Montana. The tween series featured a young pop star, Montana, who hides her celebrity identity to be an everyday teen in real life, Stewart. To accommodate filming, the entire family moved to Los Angeles with Billy Ray joining his daughter on screen as her fictional dad manager. Her star on The Rise. Cyrus released a successful Hannah Montana soundtrack album in 2006. In 2007, Cyrus' double album, Hannah Montana 2, Meet Miley Cyrus, led to the launch of the Best of Both Worlds tour. The concert series sold out in record time and was extended by 14 dates to help placate disappointed fans. Her successful 3D concert film collected $31.3 million during its opening weekend in February of 2008. Enthusiasm for Cyrus TV alter ego remained strong through to the end of the decade. Hannah Montana the movie scored a box sport scored at the box office bringing in more than $79 million following its April 2009 release. Cyrus bid for Farewell to the role with the conclusion of Hannah Montana in early of 2011. Breakout, The Time of Our Lives, and Can't Be Tamed. Cyrus' second studio album, Breakout, became a huge hit in 2008, reaching the top of the pop album charts. The following year, she released the EP, The Time of Our Lives, featuring the hit singles Party in the USA and When I Look at You. The former becoming one of the singer's most successful songs to date, selling more than 5.38 million copies and earning a spot among the best-selling singles of all time. The young star followed that success with the release of a new album, 2010's Can't Be Tamed. We Can't Stop, Wrecking Ball, and Bangers, Cyrus sought to distance herself from Hannah Montana's personality by cutting her hair short and wearing edgy fashions, but no one was quite prepared for how far she would go. At the MTV Video Music Awards, the VMAs, in August of 2013, Cyrus stunned the audience with her raunchy performance of her single, We Can't Stop. Around this time, she appeared nude in a video of the follow-up single, Wrecking Ball. However, the swirling controversy seemed to bolster sales for Cyrus' fourth studio album, Bangers, released in October of 2013. Meanwhile, Wrecking Ball became her first U.S. single to top the pop charts and earned her Video of the Year honors at the 2014 VMAs. Named host of 2015 VMAs, Cyrus concluded her efforts that evening by announcing the release of a new free album, a departure from her pop roots. Myra Cyrus and her dead pets, with a Z, 
explored themes of psychedelic as it wound through its 23 tracks. The album drew mixed reviews, with some critics passing the artist's willingness to push creative boundaries while retaining a sense of radio-friendly tracks. Her follow-up album, Younger Now, 2017, featuring the lead single Malibu, marked a return to a more conservative fare. Her seventh studio album, On The Way, Cyrus released its first installment. installment. The seven-track EP, She Is Coming, she is coming in May of 2019, with the single Mother's Daughter arriving a couple weeks later. Cyrus followed with Slide Away that August before teaming up with Ariana Grande and Lana Del Rey for Don't Call Me an Angel from Charlie's Angel soundtrack. Her full album Plastic Hearts followed in November of 2020 and reached number two on the Billboard 200. It's the most successful song its most successful song was Midnight Sky. Even bigger success was just a hit. Cyrus kicked off 2023 by releasing Flowers, which quickly became her second number one hit song. It topped the Billboard Hot 100 for eight weeks and anchored her eighth studio album, Endless Summer Vacation, that arrived in August. Both the song and the album were commercially and critically successful, earning the singer six Grammy nominations. In February of 2024, Cyrus accepted her first Grammy Awards for Flowers. It won Record of the Year and Pop and Best Pop Solo Performance. The last song, LOL and So Undercover, Movies and TV. In 2010, Cyrus starred in the romantic drama The Last Song, a movie based on the novel of the same name by Nicholas Sparks. Her coming-of-age drama, LOL, in 2010, 2012 also was geared towards tween audiences, while her attempt to branch out slightly as a private investigator in So Undercover in 2012 wound up as a direct-to-video release in the United States. Cyrus re resumed her film work in 20 2015 by appearing at her as herself in two holiday comedies, The Night Before, starring Seth Rogen and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and the Bill Murray variety special, A Very Merry Christmas. The following year, she teamed up with Woody Allen to star in the Amazon series Crisis in Six Scenes. Already a veteran of the small screen, Cyrus put her hosting duties to task once again as one of the new female coaches of season 11 of The Voice, the other being Alicia Keys. The women competed to discover the top artists alongside veteran coaches Adam Levine and Blake Shelton. Cyrus left at the end of the season but returned for season 13 in 2017. Following a small uncredited voice role in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in 2017, Cyrus was the center of attention. In the 20 in June 2019 season 5 opener of the TV series Black Mirror, in which she played a pop star named Ashley O. Oh. The following spring she launched the interview show Bright Minded, live with Miley on Instagram, live as a way of helping the public cope with the coronavirus outbreak. In March of 2018, it was announced that Jamaican singer-songwriter Michael May, who performs under the name Forgon, Flower Gone, had filed a lawsuit alleging that Cyrus' 2013 hit We Can't Stop was based on his 1988 song We Run Things. According to the lawsuit, Cyrus had lifted the lyrics, We Run Things, Things Don't Run We, from May's We Run Things, Things No Run We. It's very confusing. And significantly incorporated his vocal me melody, rhythm, cadence, and infection. In 2008, Cyrus stirred up controversy by posing for revealing, revealing shots taken by famed photographer Annie Labo uh, Labolza which appeared in Vanity Fair magazine. The resulting cri criticism prompted an embarrassed Cyrus to apologize to fans, though years later she tweeted that she wasn't sorry at all, with a four-letter word for emphasis. In 2009, Cyrus provided a look into her life with the autobiography Miles to Go, featuring previously unseen photos, family stories, and a look at her inner circle of loved ones. In a statement around this time, Cyrus said of the book, I am so excited to let fans in on how important my relationship is with my family. I hope to motivate, 
motivate motor motivate mothers and daughters to build lifetimes of memories together and inspire kids around the world to live their dreams. Cyrus, who has made headlines for her romantic life, br briefly dated Nick Jones of the musical group The Jonas Brothers in 2007. She was also rom romantically linked to model Justin Gaston and actor Carter Jenkins, among other ce celebrities. In June of 2012, after three years of dating, Cyrus announced her engagement to actor and Hunger Games star Liam Hemsworth. The pair called it quits in September of 2013, and although they later rekindled their relationship and got married on December 23rd of 2018, they separated again fo that following summer. Miley Cyrus's top five songs are Number one, can you guess? Flowers with 2 billion streams. Number 2, Party in the USA with 1.3. Number 3, Angels Like You with 960 million streams. Number 4, Nothing Breaks at a Heart. Nothing Breaks a Heart with 953 million streams. And number 5, surprisingly at the bottom of the top 5, Wrecking Ball with 942 million streams. You know what to do. Go check out shopmelody.com and get the full biography. And get some fresh new merch too. Hit that sign up button and become a member also hit the subscribe button and share with your friends and family follow us on social media media at the melody pod thanks for listening i'll see you tomorrow